How to Rank on Google 101. First, render HTML that can be read by bots. Number two, get that fully rendered HTML loaded fast. Three, publish very high quality content. And four, publish more very high quality content. This is all you need to do to rank on Google and get to the top. But I know a lot of you guys are using tools like Lovable and No Code website builders, and they will not get indexed by Google. And let me show you why. Take this page here. It was built by Lovable, published, and the main page will get ranked on Google. But if you go to any other page in this app, let's go here to the services page. If we check what Google sees when it crawls it, this is what Google gets. Have a look here. Page not found because this is a single page application or a spa and there actually isn't another page as far as Google is concerned. So when Googlebot visits the, your site, the route actually doesn't e exist. So without proper redirects, Netlify just serves up this generic 404, the page doesn't exist, and all Googlebot sees is page not found. That's it. In simple terms, our app is missing a crucial redirects file, which tells Netlify that for any route, serve the index.html file and give it a 200 status. And basically, this will stop the routes returning a 404. If you've built a React app and published it, your site is probably in one of these three categories. First one is the Google experience, it finds broken links, mostly with 404s. The typical situation is the yoursite.com, it might work, but every other route will give 404s. A slight improvement on that is your app has redirects, generic across every single page. And the final category, this is the one you want, and this is what I'll be showing in this video. You want dynamic HTML, so it provides unique meta tags to every single route. To get started, we've got some build requirements. We need lovable.dev and you get five free credits with that. We need Superbase for our backend authentication and you can get two projects for free with Superbase. Netlify, we can publish and host for free. And I'm going to be using a PRD that's going to be available to you guys free as well. If you want to get the PRD, head over to the Ambitious AI school community. It is available right here, PRD for Lovable AI Automation. The app we're going to be building is a WordPress style CMS, but it's going to be built using React. So I've taken a copy of the PRD. Now, if I go into Lovable, all I need to do is paste in the PRD. And you can see here, I've clicked this plus button here and I've connected my super base. You can see 213 temp is good to go. Now the PRD is massive, not going to go through it. I'm just going to hit the go button here and let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, so Lovable has built our app. I have asked it to do a couple of things since it finished. I wanted to check that the authentication is working, which it is, and I made some minor tweaks to how the blog will look, and that's all done. So then up the top here, I connected a GitHub, and when you do that, that allows you to bring it into Netlify. So if I go over to Netlify, I'm in the edge functions here, and this is what's going to fire to give us our dynamic meta tag injection to get that perfect SEO working. So, and if I go to the URL that it's published to, here it is. None of this has been modified. This has come straight from the PRD that I, that I showed you, and we do have a blog listing. So the next step is to get our SEO sorted, and the way we do that is head over to our school community, I'm over here now, I'm on the online Ninja AI community. And what you wanna do is go to the classroom, scroll down until you get to this folder here. It's called Lovable SEO. I'm gonna click on this. You need to go to this section here and you need to copy everything from where it says prerequisites. Write down, take a copy of that, go back to your Lovable project and paste it in here. Now, once you've done that, it's gonna tell Lovable all the instructions required to add this edge function. And so we can do that. It's quite a lengthy specification to get this sorted. Once you've got it in there, just hit the arrow button and let it do its thing. Now, when Lovable has finished processing all those instructions we just gave it, when it ends, it's gonna ask you to set up two environment variables. The first one is the Superbase URL and also the Superbase service role key. Create those variables and save them 
If you're looking for the service role key and you can't find it, it's just over on settings, API key, and it's this one here, not the Anon public, it's this one here, service role key secret, and that's why it's masked. Just reveal it and then you can copy it and paste it back over here. The whole goal of this, remember, is that when we're done, we get this experience here for the Googlebot. Each route properly is properly indexed and has unique content. With that done, we should be able to go over to our app now and confirm that we've got this in place. So I'm going to refresh this to make sure all the changes have come through. I'm going to go to the home page. There's a few different ways of doing this, but the simplest one I found if you're on Windows is just press Control U and you will see the HTML that gets loaded at page load time. So if I press that, we've got the title here. So this is unique to the index.html. So AI Automation Pro, leading AI Automation Agency. And we also have the meta description as well. So we can tick the box on that one. That is good. Now, if I go back to the app and we go to blog and I click on read more. So if I click on control U again, we get unique title and description. So starting an AI automation agency, a beginner's blueprint, and there we have the description. So we have got our dynamic meta tag injection working with our Netlify edge function. Now, if I go back to our list, I showed you at the start, render HTML that can be read by bots, we can tick that one off. And then we want to make sure that our rendered HTML loads really fast. So let's check that. If I go back over to, to the site that's published, go to the home page, I'll take a copy of the URL, and then I'm going to go to pagespeed.web.dev. This is Google's page speed tool. We're just going to paste the URL in here. And what we want is everything to be above 90. So let's see what happens. And there we go. So we've got 98, 92, 192. Our page is loading super fast and Google should be happy with that. The main things we've got sorted are we've got our rendered HTML that can be read by bots. We've also got super fast rendering of the HTML so Google won't bounce off and say it's too slow. So that's sorted. And for three and four high quality content, use your favorite tool for generating your SEO content. I recommend using Sigma SEO, and that's how I generated the, the first blog on this site. It's got a lot of tools and features in addition just to generating SEO content. It'll generate stealth content that can't be detected by AI as well. So I hope you got a bit of value from this video. If you did, consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. Catch you in the next one.